What happens if you inherit money while on social security disability, while receiving social security disability benefits? Now, what's really interesting about this question is it can be tricky because there's more than one disability program and they have very different implications if you inherit money. One of them, and they both are commonly referred to as disability, and lots of people say they have social security disability without knowing which of these programs that they're on. So I'm gonna tell you kind of how to tell the key differences and then what the consequence is for inheriting money or coming into money or selling a house or getting a personal injury settlement, okay? There is SSDI and SSI. SSDI is a program that gives you access to your retirement early. You have worked a certain number of quarters, you have paid into the system, and you become disabled. And prior to reaching age 65, you are then entitled to the SSDI program. Um, you know you have SSDI if you waited about two years, or exactly two years with several exceptions, but you wait two years, you are then entitled to Medicare. SSDI, when you get that before turning 65, after two years, you are automatically entitled to Medicare benefits. I wanna compare and contrast that with SSI, not SSDI, but SSI. SSI is a program that you get because you are disabled if under the age of 65 um, or over the age of 65 and your income is under a certain amount. In the year 2022, when this video was recorded, that amount is $841. If your income is below $841, uh, you can apply for SSI if you're also disabled or over the age of 65, and they will bring your income up to $841. So as an example, if your income's $840 and you applied, you would be entitled to $1 of SSI payments every month. Now, some people go, why would we do that? Who cares about a dollar? Well, the reason why that's important for many individuals is because if you have SSI, even $1 worth, it automatically entitles you to Medicaid, not Medicare, Medicaid. There is no waiting period for that. As soon as you're eligible for SSI for at least $1 worth per month, you are then automatically in, essentially enrolled in your state's community Medicaid program. So again, SSDI gets you Medicare, SSI gets you Medicaid. Now, let's go back to the original question. If you receive an inheritance or any sum of money while on Social Security Disability, what happens? If you're on SSDI, nothing happens. That is not a needs-based program, meaning that you can have a million dollars in the bank or, or, or any number of assets, and you would still be entitled to your SSDI and your Medicare. That's because you paid into the system while you were working. That's what gets you, it's kind of like paying an insurance premium and now you're collecting your insurance policy. It doesn't matter how much money you have. Now, if the disability you have is SSI, then receiving money will jeopardize those benefits. And that's a very uh, good reason to call a law firm such as ours if you're in the state of Florida because we can talk to you about the different legal and ethical ways to protect the inheritance, to protect the personal injury settlement, to protect the sale of the proceeds from the sale of your house or however way you're coming into money to protect the SSI and your Medicaid benefit. So I hope that answers the questions. Thank you for asking it. Have a great day.